Welcome back. How strong is your love to keep a loved one alive? Is it strong enough that you would donate an organ? Well, one couple had the test of love recently. Hear more in this Renal Month feature. This month is Renal Month and more than 400 people are faced with kidney disease in the country. I recently spoke with Sharon Taylor about her challenges dealing with kidney failure. I had renal failure for about 12 years. The first three years, um, it was, I think, what they call acute, where I didn't have to start dialysis um, immediately. Um, the kidney disease was as a result of me being hypertensive. With the prospect of kidney failure, Sharon says she next began the search for a donor. The majority of my relatives, particularly my sisters and brothers, well, unfortunately, we are from a family where uh, hypertension is very high in our family. The process for searching for a donor would lead her to a very close source that had not been previously tested, but would be forced to a hospital lockdown. It was just like a, like a, a strange um, spirit came over me. You know, say, man, look, why are you sitting down here wasting time? Go down and check, get checked. It don't hurt. It's so strange that, I, that she, she said God has, is very humorous in what he does. Five minutes after I reached back up to, that, um, to where she was on the sixth floor, the, the, uh, the lockdown was lifted. So we know this was all God. For Sharon, she truly appreciates the gift of a kidney from her husband. Before we went into the theater, that was one of the things I said to him, thank you so much and I love you so much. It's, it's like I somewhat have my life back. Uh, the only difference is that um, I have to be very careful around persons with um, flus, viruses. As for Mr. Taylor, he says it's a decision he's happy that he made. The reality check is that if I didn't do it, I might not have had my wife here today because of the condition she was in. Besides strict adherence to medication for Sharon, Mr. Taylor says he's fine. He's just had to increase his water intake.